हे एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम रजनीकांत एंड टुडेस वीडियो विल गोना सी हाउ टू रीड प्रॉपर्टीज फ्रॉम प्रॉपर्टी फाइल्स ओके सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ स्प्रिंग बूट माइक्रो सर्विसेज सीरीज सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द एयरलीर वीडियोस यू कैन वॉच दोस एयरलीर वीडियोस एज़ वेल ओके आई विल गिव ऑल दोस वीडियोस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन लिंक okay so before moving to today's topic if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side okay so let's uh, jump into today's topic how we'll read uh, properties from properties files okay so first of all why we need a property file okay so some value we need to put into the property file and we need to read for example let me show you here so here i have two services ticket booking service and payment service i have created these two services if you are not aware you can watch my earlier videos okay so here what i am doing so here uh, we do have this configuration this is for s2 configurations okay and here is my controller i will show you what is the scenario and why should you go for property files okay for example just see here i have here base url okay so this base url is http colon double slash localhost colon 8082 slash pay slash so this url this is this url is for this payment service okay so in this controller we are calling payment service okay so if this url instead of instead of storing in uh, inside a method as a variable i can store these properties i can store these properties in properties file and i can read those things why it's required because we don't know where exactly we are using <coughs> uh where exactly we are using this property this uh this url suppose in multiple places we are using this url if we'll keep this url like this suppose tomorrow uh this url got changed some pay to do pay then every file every class we need to go and we need to Change there. Okay, so how we'll read this one? Instead of hard coded this value in class file in the class, we can store these properties. We can store these values in properties file, and we can read from that one. So this will ease of use, and uh, wherever wherever these uh, these uh, URLs we are referring. just we need to read from the property file no need to change where no need to change anywhere if you want to change anything then just uh, then just change in that property file itself for example let me take that value okay so control c and what is this url will take p a y m e n d payment dot u r l equal to let me take this one so this payment u r l right i am putting it here okay payment u r l now let's how we'll read that one so pretty simple first let's customize this one so let's take an attribute here string payment url payment url and from where we'll get this payment url from that property file right so add the red value and here we need to have dollar of this one sorry 
payment dot url okay let's keep this one here payment dot url and now we'll remove this base url okay let me comment this one and we'll paste it here okay so hope you got it what is the problem if you'll uh, put any values any constant like values in java classes again uh, it will be scattered all over the same value so instead uh, we can take in that properties file and if any required changes then directly we can change in that properties file okay so we have done now let's see uh, whether we are able to read this payment url payment url or not let me do a system dot out dot println over here so that uh, we'll check it will print in the uh, console payment url and plus this one okay so let's run that one so before running that one first i need to run this payment service because uh, it will gonna call this payment service let's run this one then i need to call that part run as spring boot up and here again ticket booking and let me run this one as well spring boot up okay we are done so this is running on 8081 port and already have configured that one so localhost 8081 and for that service i have not given any particular url so default url will be hit with this post method okay so let's hit let's uh, hit now so okay so this is a ticket booking service so this is my ticket i want to book this name my name source destination travel date and seat number amount 500 let's hit and see the console i am getting 200 ok response here ok ticket is booked now now let's go to this console and we will gonna see what is this payment url let me copy and let me search here control f and will be find Sorry, my bad. Oh, this is from payment service. <laughs> Just see, <laughs> I need to change here that console to ticket booking service. That time, Just see, payment URL HTTP colon local slash localhost colon eight zero eight two slash pay. Okay, so this is coming from this is coming from property file okay so uh, let's have some another property so again let me take here booking status booking status booking dot status okay some message will send to uh, backend right so here not backend as a response will take send start as equal to ticket book ticket booked successfully okay now let's return this one from here this test controller and booking status let me change to here string and let me return here booking status okay so 
let me run this one again okay so let's run this one again we'll see let me book another ticket uh, for whom I will book Rajesh okay for Rajesh I am booking a ticket let's see it ticket booked successfully you see this string is coming right so this is coming from this property file the value is coming from this property file right so hope you got it uh, got a crystal clear picture that how we can uh, read properties from property file okay so in the next video we will gonna see how we will read properties for a specific environment for example here we do have a s2 database right so for dev we do have a different configuration for QA we do have a different configurations and for uh, prod we have a different configurations okay so that part we will gonna see how we will uh, read properties for, properties for a specific environment okay how we will implement that one we will gonna see in that uh, next video okay so thank you for watching and if you have any feedback you can have your comments in the comment section or else if you want any other um, videos uh, let me know in the comment section i will try to upload those videos as well okay so thank you for watching have a nice day